You don't necessarily need an expensive DSLR or point-and-shoot to take great photographs. In fact, I personally think the best camera you have is the one that's on you. Uh, and for a lot of people, or for most people, that's their cell phone or their iPhone or their Droid or whatever. And the reason it's such a great camera is because it's always in your pocket and you can always use it and you can always bust it out. What's important to remember is the limitations of a camera like this. Uh, there are things you're not going to be able to do and there are size limitations, but despite that, it's a great photographic tool and it's a great tool to practice your craft. That way, if you understand the basics of composition shooting with your iPhone, I personally have my own iPhone photography blog. Uh, it is wonderboyle.tumblr.com. Uh, and I like to post, you know, just things that I see like this, things that follow my thoughts on what I think is good composition. It's also important to remember that the iPhone has a couple different options for shooting. Uh, specifically, you can shoot in HDR mode or normal mode or flash photography mode. This image here was shot in HDR mode, and the reason that this worked well was because there were a lot of different exposures in this image, so I used the HDR to bring out the glow in the buildings and the sky at the same time. Just like any other HDR, uh, you want to keep it as steady as possible when doing it. This one I balanced on a garbage can to get it to look right. Despite that though, uh, I'll also shoot with my iPhone and edit it like a traditional photo, and this is an example as well. This was shot at an Andrew W.K. concert. Knowing the limitations of the camera really helps. The way I shot this image, I was going for sort of a shutter drag look, was I focused it over in a dark area of the photo to blow out the highlights, uh, and had the flash on, and then brought the artist and the crowd into focus, and kind of got a little bit of shutter drag doing so. It's basically a way of tricking the camera into giving it a longer exposure, again, by focusing over here on the black area, and then moving it into frame as the shutter's opening, uh, that I was able to achieve this effect. iPhone photography is great, you know, Instagram is very, very popular. I personally like to edit using Photoshop Express, which is a free program you can download. Um, it's a really, really stripped down sort of version of Photoshop. A lot of times you'll find with Instagram, uh, photos that look great, look great not because they're great photos, but because they're great filters. Uh, and I think in a lot of ways it kind of waters down what is good photography, which isn't to say there isn't great Instagram photography out there as well. Again, best camera you have is the one on you, and in a lot of cases, that's the iPhone. So don't poo-poo it as a uh, real photographic tool.